The following is a build that is completely theoretical that only looks at card interactions and how it counters certain aspects of the meta. This deck has not been playtested and should only be viewed as a starting point before making adjustments for your personal playstyle and meta. With North American Nationals quickly approaching this weekend, I'm going to explore Bond decks one more time. The difference is, this Theoretical Thursday build is going to cover Bond decks with a splash of purple. I give you Dr. Pepper Aqua Bond and absolutely zero Gabu Bond. For these builds, the deck profiles are going to be a little different in this video, in that it will focus on using three additions for each of these builds, rather than going over the card by card this time around. And while this is untested, there are very interesting interactions to consider. Because of this, I'll discuss the combos in the first part of this video, followed by a brief overview of the deck profile. The first addition for the deck is Matt Ishida from BT2. Let's break this down into Agumon Bond of Bravery and Gabumon Bond of Friendship. First, in Agumon Bond of Bravery decks, Matt serves no function for the deck except for being a stable memory tamer. Because of this, you lose the plus one memory you could generate from Greymon. But that being said, you could very well use Matt Ishida to pull back Back for Revenge from the trash, seeing as it has no security effect. For Gabumon Bond of Friendship decks, Matt has a slightly better methodology of play. Considering BT6 Gabumon reduces the play cost of Matt Ishida by 1. Which means if you have multiple Gabumons out, this stacks. In an opening turn where you digivolve your baby Digimon into a BT6 Gabumon and you hard play another Gabumon, not only are you flexing on your opponent that you're okay losing two of your best rookies, but the next turn when you slap that BT2 Matt Ishida down, it's only going to cost you Two memory, not four. In general, Matt's use for this theoretical build is purely for memory stabilization and to pull back, back for revenge in dire times. It's also one way to put a stable purple source on the field. Back for revenge is the second card that I thought was kind of funny after reading it. Sure, there's no security effect if it's checked in the security, but there's no denying the hilarious shenanigans that you can do with it after swinging with Agumon Bond of Bravery or Gabumon Bond of Friendship. Whether Bond lives or dies in the checks, at end of turn, it'll automatically play itself back on the field when it's deleted. Back for Revenge is more of a gimmick, but keep in mind there's not a lot of ways to remove an Agumon Bond of Bravery or a Gabumon Bond of Friendship in the current meta. Gabumon Bond of Friendship can't bounce Bond of Friendship, and Agumon Bond of Bravery can't delete Bond of Bravery either in the mirror. And with Agumon, you only have access to Gaia Force, which can truly delete it. In a security control matchup, there are a few options to remove a level 7 Digimon, but not much. And if your opponent doesn't have an out for it, it might as well be game. The last card that will be discussed in this theoretical build is Purple Mimi Tachikawa. You're going to start to notice a trend in my videos of the week I make uploads. Mimi Tachikawa is a huge game changer in the meta recently, with some builds splashing Mimi against blue decks for using Hammer Sparks and Ice Wall. For the Agumon Bond of Bravery decks, Mimi gives a stable purple source and also makes all your option cards in essence one memory cheaper. In conjunction with a Tai Kamiya and a Mimi Tachikawa and pushing an Agumon up from Raze to the battlefield, you can Evo up to Greymon and still have memory to play a delicate plan in the security control matchup, or a lightning joust for extra aggression. For Gabumon Bond of Friendship decks, those hammer sparks go from one memory to two memory gains, and Ice Wall is now even free. But in the mirror, this is where Mimi can shift it to your turn if your opponent's not paying attention. If your opponent pushes up an Evo's in a Jessmon to swing, drop down a Sistermon seal, then Judgment of the Blade, tap Mimi, then gain one memory, and end their turn. Agumon Bond decks trying to Evo in a Bond and a Delicate Plan? Nope. Agumon Bond of Bravery just dies. Gabumon Bond trying to Evo in a Bond, then double Ice Wall? Nope. One Ice Wall. Gabubon dies. Projected now on screen is a current proposed build that I would do for Dr. Pepper, Agubon. This build does not run EX1 Skull Greymon because even though it might be another purple source, you have to spend 3 memory to evolve into this Digimon. Then somehow have 2 memory to play back for revenge. And not swinging with it just leaves it vulnerable to option cards and Gabubon. You'll notice I traded a lot of defensive option cards like Atomic Blaster for extra aggro in the form of Lightning Joust. 
If your opponent can't answer a P010 Greymon with double lightning joust and a delicate plan, that's a lot of checks going into security. As for Gabumon Bond to Friendship, in previous builds I liked having the Howling Memory Boost to stop attacks. However, with this build losing Davis Motomiya for the extra dick, I'm running Blue Memory Boost now to fix that issue. Defensively, you have many ways to keep your opponent at one memory, and even if your opponent goes into three, if they Evo and play any option card to try to gain more memory, it will either be nullified or cost one more memory instead, making it your turn. While I haven't playtested either of these builds, the Matt Ishida, Mimi Tachikawa, and Back for Revenge package make for some very interesting decks. Though I honestly want to try more of it in different colors. With hybrids coming up, I anticipate me experimenting with these builds for Ancient Greymon and Ancient Garurumon. And if you tried this with your build, has it shown you any success? Let me know in the comments below. This is Digipanda. Wishing you the best of luck in Nationals if you're watching this video. Otherwise, logging out.